Hello everyone, welcome to Ton Time. Today I will be unboxing and assembling the Everything Smart Technology Everything Presence Light Kit uh, Presence Sensor here. This is a very affordable presence sensor. At Currently it was only $35 and it's sold out. Um, the reason why it's so cheap is because this is kind of like a um, build you order it and you kind of build it yourself, but it's really easy to build. I'll show you guys in a video. And um, I've been playing with Presence Sensor in my smart home um, system for about a year now, trying the Aquara LP1, LP2. Um, those seem to work pr uh, pretty good, but this one here looks pretty promising. And at this price point, um, I'm gonna test it out to see how it works in my uh, home assistant. But um, that's another video. This video is strictly going to be for unboxing this and getting it put together. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. And once you open it, as you can see, it is in pieces. You do have a QR code that you could scan here that would bring you to the website, or you could type this URL in here to go to the website. And uh, once you do that, it will bring you to the website that shows you how to put this thing together. So upon opening, you got you got the 3D printed case here. And then you got the board here. So you got the two boards that you need to put in. I believe this is the millimeter wave board and the uh, actual board to control all of the stuff, the ESP board and then you got the cable that comes with it so that's everything in the box here and once you scan this qr code or go to the website you will be taken to a website that looks like this here and um well actually let me show you the website that i bought it from this is a website called everything smart technology and as you can see it's sold out right now um and this is what the product looks like really it looks really easy to put together so yeah so this is what it all looks like guys so you can order from this website i'll put the link below um but it's back ordered right now so you'll probably have to put your email address to be on a waiting list but the features on here is pretty awesome it's got advanced mm wave sensing uh, multi-target tracking, dynamic zone and analytics, ambient light sensor, uh, Bluetooth uh, proxy for home assistant, and it's powered by ESP32 and ESP Home. And it comes with the 3D printed case, and this is everything that's in the box. If you scan the QR code on here or go to the website, um, you will be taken to uh, this website here, which is uh, which will tell you everything what you need to know about the product, the hardware overview, um, what's in the box, explanation of the hardware and the specs about it, the case, the uh, wave sensor, and how to assemble everything. It's all step by step. There's a lot of pictures and text, but don't be alarmed. It's really easy to put together, and I will show you guys in the video. So this is just a website of explaining how you could get it out of the box, put together, firmware installed, and then working on Home Assistant. So the first thing you want to do is let's get it um, let's get it uh, put together. So I'm going to go back to the screen here. We're going to put these parts aside for now, and then we're going to work on the case. So this is the stand. This is the case that is going to sit in, and this is the ring that's going to help you seat um and put all this case together so first thing you want to do is unscrew this part here so it's in pieces and then when you're looking at the case here make sure this is going to be the bottom part this is where the usb-c is going to connect in and this is just the cover so we're going to put these two aside for now what you want to do first is pop this into the back take this ring here make sure this is in the back like this okay so there's a groove in it make sure that it's facing down and then just lightly get the thread ready here okay and you're gonna feel some resistance when you're screwing it in what i tend to find to make it easy is i pop this stand in first here 
and then you kind of hold it and then you could really screw it screw it in like that to get it tight and then i just pop this back out and then i'll put it in later so that's how i kind of get it tightened here that's the first part and the next part you want to do is grab the board here take it out and then you go you want to look for the usb-c connector which is on the bottom here and make sure that it's facing the bottom part of this case here and when you put it in you could kind of flex the case a little bit um, if it's hard to get in to get the board in and it should snap in place the board needs to sit and lock down into the body so what I do is I try to put one side in first and kind of jam it in and then I try to snap each corner in you hear that snap so snap one corner in snap the other and then you're pretty much set the other corner I kind of shoved in so it's really tight it, it shouldn't wiggle at all it should be stuck in a case like this and it should be flush here you see there's no there's no gap or anything the board just locks into place it's an awesome awesome design toolless so make sure the board isn't moving around and then the last part of this is the eight pin connector here connects to the eight pin where it says ld2450 there so you pretty much just kind of wiggle it in it's kind of cut on the edge there where you have some room to wiggle it in and get it installed into that area there so give me a second and you could kind of just fin finagle it in and just give us a wiggle room but it will me eventually make it in and look i already got to see it in so I'm just going to push it down. Making sure that the pin is all the way in and nice and flush. And there. It's pretty much locked in. So see, just make sure that it's seated nicely in there. And then that's pretty much it. This is just a cover. You just pretty much pop it on. Put this end in here so uh, there's two grooves here that you can mount onto the wall if you want but for me i'm just going to leave it on a stand for now and there's a groove here make sure that's that's pointed down here on this ring with that so that it sits like this here so that if you want to put it on a shelf it just sits on the shelf like this as you can see so make sure that that groove is pointing down with the usb there That's it. Installation is easy. It's really, really easy and simple. And then you can pretty much move this around freely. And you can also tighten this down a little bit more if you want. So yeah, so that was the installation part of this. Very easy, guys. The 90 degree USB cable will go under there. Take your USB cable that it came with, plug one into the computer, and then plug this end into the device itself, as you can see. So I have it plugged in right now. And once you have it plugged into straight to your computer, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera view here. Go to the next step after you um, power it on and um, hit the update and connect here and make sure that you're on a browser like Google Chrome or the latest edge and then you just need to hit the connect button here as you can see this little pop up here on um, on Chrome should pop up choose the USB 
that is connected to. So it should be the USB serial COM3 in my case here, and then hit connect. And then it's going to connect to the device and then just hit install everything presence like HA. And then it's going to ask, do you want to install everything presence here? Just go ahead and hit install. And it's pretty much going to erase whatever is inside here and then install everything into this bad boy right now. So that's what it's doing right now. So it says it's gonna take two minutes. So yeah, so installation was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. The case is 3D printed and they did a pretty good job um, making everything fit here. Um, and it, it literally only took me less than five minutes to pop everything together right now. So now that it's updating, um, I recommend probably not to move this thing around, just let it update so you don't knock any wires loose while it's doing the update. So I'm gonna leave that alone there and it looks like it's gonna take about two minutes for it to update. So we'll fast forward it here. Okay, now it's wrapping up and it says installation complete. We're gonna hit next and then enter the credential of the Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi network here and then I'm gonna put in my password. I'm gonna hit connect. So now it's gonna try to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, device connected to the network. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit add to home assistant. And then it's gonna open up a page here. I'm gonna change my view so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, and then I'm going to hit open link and then this is pretty much my home assistant here. Do you want to set up ESP home? Hit OK. And then I'm going to click on this, this, this device here that got discovered. And then do you want to add this to your home assistant? You hit submit and then success. And right now I'm going to place this in my bedroom right now, just for testing. I'm going to hit finish and there you have it it should be in my home assistant now so once i refresh it you see that thing's gone right there and if i go to my esp which is here you see one device and then yeah it looks like it's working now and you see that it says it's detected here so i'm going to make it bigger so you guys can see so this is the device info um, the firmware and everything you could turn on the LED so it looks like there yeah there's an LED on the bottom here so I'm going to change the views to so you guys can see it there's a little LED underneath so you can turn it on and off you can set your distance what's this occupancy off delay so there's actually quite a bit of settings here um illumix so that's the light sensor it de it's detecting me right now one target so yeah so it looks like everything's working fine um i'll probably do another video on how i got this set up and how it's working um, with this video i just want to show you guys how i it's how you order it put it all together and get it installed. They made it really easy and really seamless. Um, installation was super easy. Um, I know it may be intimidating um, to um, get something that's all in pieces for you to install, but at this price point and how they manufacture everything, I mean, keeping that price that low for something like this at, flat, at that price point, it's really great. And like I said, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to put it all together. Just follow the um, online instructions on there and you should be able to do it just fine. If you're capable of reading and walking, you should be able to put this together. So that is the install. That's the installation of this on home assistance and the assembly part of it. Um, I'm going to play around with it for the next week or so and probably will do another follow up video on it. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys um, a quick tutorial on how to get this all put together. So there you have it. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, you know what to do. 
hit that like share subscribe button and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out till next time